Hello students, welcome back to Physics with Sabdar. Now you are watching IGCRC Physics exam solution series. And today we are going to solve past paper questions on topic momentum. So let's start the lesson of the day. This is question number one. In question number one, an object of mass 50 kg accelerates from velocity of 2 meter per second to velocity of 10 meter per second in the same direction. What is the impulse provided to cause this acceleration? And we have four options. First of all, I told you before, if you have question like this, underline the information. Here we have the mass of object is 50 kilogram. Initial velocity is 2 meter per second. Final velocity is 10 meter per second. It means like uh, this is the object with mass m. And in the beginning, it was moving with velocity u. Now, then its velocity changed from u to v. And you know, well, mass does not change place to place. So, mass is same. We need to calculate the impulse. The equation of impulse, you know, well, impulse is equals to force into time. But in this question, we don't have force and time, so we cannot use this equation. So let's try the next equation of impulse, that is impulse is equals to change in momentum. And uh, you know well how to write the change in momentum. Momentum is mass, final velocity minus initial velocity. Now look at the information we have, the mass is how much, uh, 50 kilogram. The final velocity, look at this, this is mass, initial velocity, and this is final velocity. It's 10 minus 2, then solve 50. 10 minus 2 will give you 8, and multiply 8 with 50, so we get uh, 400. And you know, well, the unit of momentum is Newton second. So check with the options, 250, that's not correct, 400, that's the correct option, and C and D are not correct. Question number two. A gas molecule strikes the wall of container, the molecule rebounds with the same speed. Uh, you can see in the diagram, then what happens to the kinetic energy and what happens to the momentum of the molecule. So look at this picture number one. This is the wall and gas molecule. Look at the motion of the molecule. The molecule is moving towards the wall. So you can take this direction speed as positive. This is the case before hitting the wall. Look at number two. The gas molecule after hitting bounce back. So the direction of velocity you can see that is totally opposite. So you can write here this is opposite. Now you need to check about the kinetic energy and momentum. About the kinetic energy you know well the kinetic energy of a moving object is equal to half times mass and speed square because in this case is given same speed it means before hitting and after hitting speed does not change because speed is not changing and mass is constant so that's why you can find no change in kinetic energy so look at the options option a and B is showing the change in kinetic energy so you cannot select this option but C and D there is a tie kinetic energy is same in option C and D as well then you need to check the momentum you know well the momentum is the product of mass and velocity but you know well velocity is a vector and it depends upon direction 
So you can see clearly in the case 1 and case 2 there is a change in direction. So that's why you will find the change in momentum as well. So you can see uh, look at this option option C kinetic energy same it's correct momentum change it's also correct look at the last one it stay the same kinetic energy it's okay but momentum stay the same not correct that's why the only C is the correct option now question number three the question is which quantity is measured in Newton second here we have the four options impulse moment power and work done so if you look at the unit that is Newton second okay we know well Newton is the unit of force and second is the unit of time and they are in product so the force into time you know well this is impulse now look at the option impulse is the correct options now question number four figure 2.1 shows a hammer being used to drive a nail into a piece of wood the mass of the hammer head is 0 0.15 kilogram the speed of the hammer head when it hits the nail is 8.0 meter per second the time for which the hammer head is in contact with the nail is 0 0.0015 second the hammer head stops after hitting the nail and we need to calculate the change in momentum of the hammer head look at this number the mass of hammer is 0 0.15 kilogram so that is the mass of hammer and it is 0 0.15 kilogram in the beginning the hammer was in motion and its speed is given 8 meter per second so that is initially speed of hammer so you can write here it is 8.0 meter per second when the hammer had hits the nail remained in contact with the nail for 0 0.005 second so this is the time of contact t is equals to 0 0.0015 second at the end the hammer head stops it means final velocity of the hammer is zero so you can write here that's the final velocity it is zero you need to calculate the change in momentum the change in momentum you know well the change in momentum is equals to m mass of the object final velocity minus its initial velocity now the mass of the hammer head is 0 0.15 kilogram the final velocity is 0 and minus uh, initial velocity that is 8 solve this equation finally you will get around uh, 0 0.15 into minus 8 so we get a change in momentum is uh, minus 1.2 newton second and the uh, size of the change in momentum is 1.2 newton second now part b of the same question state the impulse given to the nail you know well uh, impulse is equals to change in momentum and in the part one we have calculated change in momentum is 1.2 so without any calculation you can write here the impulse is also 1.2 newton second now part c calculate the average force between the hammer and the nail this is the formula we are going to use here impulse is equals to force into time and we know well in the part b impulse is calculated 1.2 we need to calculate force right as it is and the time is giving in the beginning 0 0.0015 so make force as a subject 1.2 over 0 0.0015 is equals to f 
when you divide 1.2 with 0 0.005 finally we get uh, it is uh, 800 because we calculated force so you can end with the Newton so average force calculated 800 Newton a question number five the engine of an unpowered toy train is rolling at a constant speed on a level track as shown in figure 3.1 the engine collides with the stationary toy truck and joins with it before the collision and the toy engine is traveling 0.32 meter per second the mass of the engine is 0 0.50 kilogram calculate the momentum of the toy engine before the collision so this is a toy train engine and its mass is given 0 0.50 kilogram and it's uh, moving with the speed that is 0 0.32 meter per second in the first part you need to calculate the momentum of the toy engine before the collision you know well about the momentum momentum is the product of mass and velocity so before collision you know well the mass is given 0.50 and the speed of the toy engine is 0 0.32 so multiply this number finally we get 0 0.16 with unit kilogram meter per second or Newton second so that's the change so that's the momentum of the toy car 0 0.16 Newton second Now move on to the part B. The mass of the truck is 0 0.30 kilogram. So this is the truck and its mass is given that is 0 0.30 kilogram. Using the principle of conservation of momentum, calculate the speed of the joint engine and the truck immediately after the collision. To apply the principle of conservation of momentum, first we need to check their momentum of the objects before collision and after collision. So look at the situation in the beginning. Let's suppose this block is showing the toy engine and this is the truck before collision. But after collision, they join. Means like that. And they are moving with the same speed so this is momentum before collision status and this is momentum after collision principle of conservation of momentum says momentum before collision is equals to momentum after collision in the beginning we have calculated the momentum of the toy engine that is 0 0.16 plus then you need to add the momentum of truck it was at rest so its momentum was 0 now after the collision what we have they join it means you can write here their combined mass 0 0.30 plus 0 0.50 and they are moving with the same speed so you will write the same speed v is here now you need to calculate v from this equation so left hand side you will get 0 0.16 and 0 0.30 plus 0 0.50 it gives you 0 0.8 times v we need to calculate v arrange uh, equation 0 0.16 over 0 0.8 is equals to V and finally you get V is equals to 0 0.2 okay so you can write here the speed is equals to 0 0.2 meter per second once again thank you very much for watching the video so keep watching physics with Sabdar for better results in exam.
follow the playlist in that you can find all the lessons you need in your IGCSE physics take care see you in the next lesson share this video subscribe to channel press the bell icon for the latest videos keep watching physics with safdar